all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the two new Target exclusive Marvel Legends 6 inch 2 packs from Hasbro, featuring figures from both the Black Panther movie and Avengers Infinity War. So, the Black Panther set features figures of Agent Ross and Eric Killmonger. And the Infinity War set features new figures of Winter Soldier and Falcon. Now both of these come in a similar style packaging that we see with all the Marvel Legend 2 packs. You've got the black box, the Legend series logo up at the top, the figures are clearly displayed, and then down below you've got the movie logos and the names of the characters. On the sides of the packaging with these, you just have images of the characters in the sets. And then on the back of the packaging, you have looks at the actual figures and then brief bios in multiple languages. So here's a look at the bio for the Black Panther set and then a look at the bio for the Avengers Infinity War set. All right, let's get these open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside the packaging along with their other contents. Now, before I get into the actual reviews, I wanted to address a question that I'd seen come up a couple times during San Diego Comic-Con where you guys were asking why I didn't ask Hasbro about the rumored Stanley Build-A-Figure that looked like was going to be included with these two two-packs from Target. And in fact, I did actually try asking Hasbro a couple different times during Comic-Con about the Stan Lee figure, but from their standpoint, they won't even acknowledge that that figure ever existed since it was never officially announced. Their stance on that kind of thing is they don't comment on leaked information. Now, my guess is, you know, we know it was coming. We, we saw the early production sample that leaked out for the Black Panther set that showed the Stan Lee figure. So we know it does exist. But my guess is, again, that it was probably pulled due to legal issues that Stan Lee has been having with his business partners and such. Again, that's just my speculation. But from Hasbro's point of view, again, they don't even acknowledge that Stan Lee build a figure and its existence. So they're not willing to comment and let us know, you know that it was pulled or why it was pulled or anything like that. Okay, now I'm going to start off looking at the Avengers Infinity War Falcon and Winter Soldier 2-pack. And honestly, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this set. And that's because this is primarily just a repaint. The Winter Soldier figure does have new parts, but um, also reuses existing parts from the previous Winter Soldiers. And the Falcon figure is just a complete repaint. There's nothing new from the previous Civil War version that they released and doesn't even have like the Red Wing, uh, the deployable Red Wing. It's got the back piece so you can put it uh, the Red Wing on the backpack like on the original figure, but it doesn't have the deployed one. It's just got basically a different paint job and I will show you a comparison in just a moment. But I'm gonna set this one aside. Uh, for accessories, we get we get this uh, gun that we've seen before, this futuristic gun that was never seen in any movie. Um, I really don't like this gun at all, and you know, think it just looks stupid. And it's done with a silver, with the gold, and this is supposed to be Winter Soldier's uh, weapon, which looks nothing like the weapon he had in the movie. Uh, so really disappointed that they stuck this in the set. And then we get this machine gun, which I believe is supposed to go with Falcon, though I would use it more with the Winter Soldier. It looks a little bit more like the gun that we see in the movie. But again, I really think, you know, especially since these sets are pretty much just repaints, I think if they had just given us movie accurate weapons for both Winter Soldier and Falcon, that would have made this set a lot more appealing to me. But as it is, you just get this uh, machine gun with the grenade launcher on it, and it's again done with a black plastic. And then finally you get this back piece. Well, I should say with the Falcon, you get the wings, of course. These are exactly the same wings that we got with the previous one and I'll look at these in a little more detail, but you get this back piece that's supposed to be his Red Wing uh, that we saw in Civil War, and you can just basically uh, snap it into the back of the backpack piece here. Speaking of Winter Soldier's gun, I'm pretty sure if you watch at the end of Infinity War where they show the heroes, the Wakandian heroes, it looks like Rocket ends up stealing Winter Soldier's gun after he disintegrated. You can see the, the rifle, Winter Soldier's rifle, uh, sitting next to Rocket who's sitting on the log. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of funny. Okay, so the Winter Soldier, as I said, does incorporate some new parts from the previous Civil War version. It is not the same buck as we saw before, so the, the torso and the legs are actually different. But the head sculpt uh, appears to be the same. It does have a bit better paint job. It looks a little bit more like the actor because of the paint, but it is the same sculpt that we saw before, it looks like. And the arms are the same as well, so a different paint job. You've got the metallic silver with some gold. 
But again, this torso section is different. He's got a different shirt on with this line work and the collar and everything. And he's got this harness piece which is sculpted on there. And then the legs are done differently as well. It is uh, different legs. So he's got the brown pants and he's got some metallic silver here on this one side with some sculpting detail. And then he's got the boots. The boots are different as well. Uh, these had laces and these have straps. So they gave us a different body but the same head sculpt and the same mechanical arm that we got on the previous Winter Soldier. And then here's a look at the two Falcon figures. So this is the Civil War version and this is the new one. And again, these are the exact same figure, same head sculpt, same body and everything. You've just got a little bit better paint applications on this new figure. Um, you've got better paint applications on the face so it looks a little bit more like the actor. And then you've got some metallic silver and more of a metallic red here on his shirt. And the gray is a little bit darker and everything. So I do like the paint job on this uh, newer figure over the previous one. But that's not a big enough difference to really make me want to get this figure for a second time. And then here's a look at the wings. So these are the wings from the Civil War version. And these are the wings from the new version. And again, you can see these are exactly the same. With a little bit different paint job on the backpack piece. The wings themselves look pretty much identical uh, maybe the red is a little bit darker on the um, new one but otherwise you know it is almost exactly the same the wings attach the same way so basically you've got the little pegs here that you plug in on the underside of the backpack so you don't really get much in the way in fact you really get no articulation on the wings with these and then you just plug the backpack piece into the back of the figure and these figures stand, the Winter Soldier figure stands about six and a half inches, maybe just a little bit under six and a half inches. And then the Falcon figure is a little bit shorter. It comes in just a little bit over six and a quarter inches tall. And I already showed you a comparison of the two Falcon figures, but here's a comparison of all three movie Winter Soldier figures that we've gotten from Hasbro. So this is the one from the Winter Soldier movie. And then we've got the Civil War version. And then we've got the new Avengers Infinity War version. And I do think, again, that the head sculpt looks a little bit better on this newer figure, even though it's the same sculpt, but it's got better paint applications, so that's an improvement. And I do kind of like this newer body over the one we saw on the previous two versions. Now, just in case, if you're wondering, you can take the head sculpt from the new Winter Soldier figure and you can stick it on the body of the Civil War version. It fits nice and tight. And then you can also take the one from the Winter Soldier movie and you can stick that new head sculpt on there as well. So again, I think this new head sculpt with the paint applications on it is the best looking Winter Soldier head sculpt that we've gotten from Hasbro. Now since the Falcon figure is exactly the same, I'm not gonna go over the articulation in this video for that one, but I will go over it with the Winter Soldier since it is a new figure. So you can turn his head to the left and to the right and he can look down about that much. And then you can look up about that much, but he does have the hair, so it limits that movement a bit. And then you can pivot the head to the left and the right. With the arms, you can get the arms out good. You've got good rotation there at the shoulder. He's got a bicep swivel. He's got a double hinged elbow, so good bending there. And then he's got rotations with the wrist and hinges on the hand, so up and down movement. He's got an ab crunch type joint, so he can crunch down about that much. And then he can look back about that much. He's got a waist swivel with the legs. He can do the splits that much. He can get his leg forward pretty good and he can do his leg out and back. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got a double jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee. And then he's got a boot cuff swivel. He's got hinges on the feet, so up and down movement. And he does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, now moving on to the Black Panther set. So for accessories with this one, Agent Ross just comes with a pistol. It's done with black plastic. We've seen this before. There's no holster or anything for the pistol, so he does have to just hold it in his hands. And and then the Killmonger figure comes with the same accessories that we saw with the previous Killmonger. He comes with this bladed weapon and the spear type weapon. And then he comes with an extra pair of hands, a pair of grip hands, so he can hold the weapons. And then this one has the masked head and then we get the unmasked head. Now the Killmonger figure, this is the exact same figure that we got before, only we've got the unmasked head with this one. And overall, I think this looks good. Maybe not quite as good as the one that I remember seeing at Toy Fair. Again, maybe the paint applications throw it off a little bit. 
but still it's not a bad head sculpt I like the way the hair is sculpted and everything so I think they did a decent job with that and then I do like the paint job on this version over the previous one that we got again the body is exactly the same but you've got some more gold highlights and everything on the figure so I do like the paint applications the the black color is a lighter shade as on the original one and I'll show you a comparison in just a moment but I do like the paint applications on this figure even though the body itself is exactly the same that we saw before now with the agent Ross figure itself he's got this weird expression on his face and the paint job on it is a little bit off the skin tone you've got a little bit different color like under his eye here I don't know how well it shows up on camera but I'm not really liking the paint job on this figure with the face sculpt and again that kind of smirk that they've given him just kind of throws off the look to me a little bit I thought you know I recall seeing when I first saw this I think at Toy Fair I thought the the head sculpt looked better than what we're seeing here I don't know if it's the paint applications or what but um, I'm a little bit disappointed in the face sculpt on this one and he's just got the blonde hair and then we've seen this body before it's that suited body that we've seen uh, multiple times in the line so here with uh, purple man and then with my makeshift Tony Stark again it's that exact same suit body so you've got the coat which is a separate piece and the top his tie is black and his suit is a, a dark gray and then he's got a, kind of a bluish uh, white shirt that he's wearing underneath he's got the belt and everything and the black shoes but again we've seen this body many times before okay so Killmonger here stands at about six and a half inches tall and then the agent Ross figure stands about six and a quarter inches tall actually a little bit under six and a quarter inches now again, because we've seen these bodies before, I'm not going to go over articulation in this video for these figures, but here is a comparison with the previous Killmonger figure. And again, you can see the paint applications on this new version are better. They're more detailed with the gold and everything. On this one, they were pretty much all that gold was left unpainted. I do kind of like the darker gold on the necklace on the original version, but otherwise I like the paint job on this newer version better. And then again, you get the unmasked head, but the figures themselves are exactly Exactly the same and if by chance you prefer the older Killmonger body which does have that camo pattern on it which is missing from the new version then you can stick the unmasked head from the new figure on the older version it does fit nice and tight and then here again is a comparison with the three suited body figures that I have. We've got the Purple Man and my makeshift uh, Tony Stark, which is actually the chameleon body. But you can see it is the same uh, height. All three figures are about the same height because, again, it is the same mold. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I would say, you know, these sets are kind of a hard sell when the news came out that it wasn't, these weren't going to include the Stan Lee Build-A-Figure pieces. My thought was these sets are not going to be nearly as popular. Um, if you have the previous three figures, the Falcon, Winter Soldier, and Killmonger figures, then there are improvements on all three of these figures over what we previously saw. Now with the Falcon, it's the least improved. It's just got a little bit better paint applications, but otherwise it's the exact same figure. The Winter Soldier does have a new body, which I kind of like, and I do like the head sculpt, even though the sculpt itself is the same we saw before. I think the better paint applications on it make it look more like the actor. And then with the Killmonger figure, you do get the unmasked head, which looks pretty good, and I do like the updated paint applications on the body. That's a nice addition over the previous version. And then with Agent Ross, we've seen this body before with the suit, but it is a new, technically it is a new character. We've never gotten Agent Ross before. I'm a little bit disappointed with the head sculpt on that one, but again, it is a new character, so you know it depends on how much you're a fan of Agent Ross. You know, he has appeared in two of the movies, so it might be one you definitely want to add to your collection. Now both of these sets are available now they are target exclusives they cost $40 each we'll have a full image gallery up at marvelousnews.com there'll be a link in the video description below as always leave a comment let me know what you think if you're so inclined please like the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel by hitting that button down below I'd really appreciate it you should also hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload new videos and of course you can also follow me on my Facebook Instagram and Twitter accounts I have links to all those in the video description as well and until next time guys I'll catch you later.